Hello everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fabulous week so far. Today's video is going to be the luxury handbag tag that's floating around YouTube right now. No, I was not tagged personally, but I've had several requests to do this video, so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and give you my answers along with everyone else's. I've enjoyed watching um, so many of these videos and I thought maybe you guys would enjoy this as well. Anyway, if you're not familiar with it, the tag was started by Lydia Elise Millen. Um, if you haven't checked out her channel, you really should. She is very entertaining and absolutely gorgeous. I subscribed immediately after watching her video. But her tag was the best, the worst, and the most dramatic luxury handbag tag. So without much further ado, I'm going to jump right in and start with question number one. The first question is, how many handbags do you have in your collection? I'm going to take that as luxury handbags, and I currently have 10 handbags in my collection if I count my two SLGs that I use as, as handbags. That would be my Chanel Walk and my Michelle, Michelle, <laughs> Chanel Small Clutch. Uh, those are the two SLGs that I use as handbags. Question number two is how do you store your handbags? Um, I, I guess one of the perks of being divorced is that you don't have to share a closet. Um, I do have a, a nice size walk-in closet with shelves all along one end, and that's where I store my handbags. I stuff them full of air paper. Uh, most of the air paper that I have is just from saving it from shipments that I've gotten from Amazon or whatnot. But you can also buy a big bag of it on Amazon. But I do keep mine stuffed to keep their shape, but I don't put them in their dust bags. I enjoy walking in my closet and seeing them up on the shelf. I like to change my bags out often, and if I don't see them, um, I won't pick them. <laughs> I'm kind of an out of sight, out of mind kind of girl. But I do keep them out on display um, and I rotate my bags a lot so they don't get dusty or anything like that. Question number three is what was your first handbag? Um, I'm going to take that as first luxury handbag. Um, I have no idea what my first handbag was, but my first luxury handbag I actually still have and it's right here. It is my, uh, my Louis Vuitton Eva Clutch in the monogram canvas. I purchased this almost nine years ago, right around my 40th birthday, and I did buy it pre-loved at the time, but it was hardly used, and it has held up so well, and I still use this all the time. Um, very often, I will detach the, the Faketish strap, just put my necessities in there, and use this as like a small catch-all in my work tote, and then at lunch, I'll just take this out and use this for my, my little carry, you know, my little purse that I carry at lunchtime. But I also use the long crossbody strap a lot. I love that it's long, I'm taller, I'm about 5'9", and it works perfectly for me. Um, I've had it and used it so much that the, the strap kind of, it looks as bad as it, as, as it could look, but I still, um, I still love to use it. I use it out at night and I use it, I use it a lot. This is definitely one of my most used and most loved handbags. I'm sad to hear that they're discontinuing the Eva Clutch because I think it's just iconic. Um, it can hold everything, and I think it's just a beautiful little piece. So that was my first handbag. Question number four was, what is your newest handbag? Uh, if you guys watch my ch my channel at all, and you might have seen my reveal and my unboxing of this, but my newest bag is this beauty. This is my Chanel reissue in the mini size. It's silver, but not too metallic. It's kind of a it's kind of a matte silver almost with the ruthenium hardware. I am absolutely in love with this bag, you guys, and um, I will do a review on her. That'll be my next video that I do, will be a review on her. But uh, this goes into question number five, which is which is your most expensive handbag, and that would also be this little cutie. Um, these bags are not cheap. Um, the retail price for these is now almost up to $5,000. Um, I paid less than half of that. I did buy it pre-loved, I did buy it on eBay, I think I got a fabulous deal. And even though um, I paid $2,400 for her, that is still my most expensive handbag. I kind of had a cap at $1,500 before that, and I don't think I've ever gone over $1,500, at least retail or at least the base price for any of my other handbags. So while this is my most expensive, I think um, it is also my the one that I will treasure the most and keep for in my collection forever. So my, my newest and my most expensive. Question number six is what is your most dramatic purchase? Um, I've never really had a dramatic experience buying a handbag, whether it was on eBay or, or in the store or whatever, but I have to say my most dramatic experience was when I got home after purchasing our, you know, my first handbag. Like I said, I bought this pre-loved 
and um, I was a stay-at-home mom at the time. I have four kids, and my ex-husband is not a fan of luxury handbags. Um, I saved my money. I saved money for my birthday. I sold things on eBay. I did whatever I could to make my own money, so I didn't have to spend any of you know the family money or his money on this bag. But when he saw me carrying it, um, we, they erupted into a big fight. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much, but I know some of you might be able to relate with um, husbands or boyfriends, whoever, who don't understand luxury handbags, why we like them. They don't understand that they, they are investments. And um, anyway, yes, we did end up having a big fight. So that was my most dramatic experience with a new handbag. Eventually he got over it. And uh, when I see him now carrying my luxury handbags, he still kind of rolls his eyes. But anyway, he's my ex-husband now, so who cares? Okay, guys, question number um, seven. What is your favorite handbag store? Um, if I could pick eBay on this, I would. Um, that's where I purchase most of my bags. Um, most of my bags in my collection are pre-loved, except for um, two. And um, yeah, that's where I buy most of my handbags. But my favorite, I don't have a favorite designer. Um, if you guys have seen my collection, you know it's pretty eclectic. I've got several different um, brands. My favorite place to browse handbags would have to be Neiman Marcus in the Fashion Valley Mall in San Diego. They've got the most beautiful handbag department I've ever seen. They've got three, um, they've got four distinct boutiques within, within the handbag department. They've got a Chanel, a Louis Vuitton, a Gucci, and a Balenciaga. They've also got pretty much every other brand you could possibly want. And if I just want to browse and have eye candy overload, that's where I go. So that's my favorite place to look at handbags. Um, number eight is what is your current favorite bag? And I like the word current in there because you guys know how much I love my Louis Vuitton twice. Um, but I have to say that the bag I'm using the most right now, which I think would be my, my current favorite, is um, my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Um, I just got this in December and I put off getting this for so long. And since I've been, um, I, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, I, I, have, a, I have a broken pelvis right now from a um, skiing accident. And since I've been home, I've been on crutches, and this has just been the bag I've been using every day. It holds everything I need, and it's easy to sling on crossbody and still use my crutches. And um, it's kind of been my, my little staple, and I'm, I absolutely love this bag. I'm so glad I finally added it to my collection. The question number nine is, what is your least favorite handbag? And while I don't have a least favorite, I'm going to pick the bag that I use um, that I use the least. And actually, I guess it's one that I'm considering selling, so it would be my least favorite. And that is my Chanel Small Clutch in the Velvet. Um, I did a video on this in the past. You guys might know much about this bag, but it is one that I bought last year to use as a formal handbag. It's got a detachable chain and it's really a cute little bag. It does actually fit my necessities. It fits my iPhone 7. It fits, you know, it has a little zipper in here. It fits my, you know, my credit card, debit card, all that stuff. I can usually stick my car key and a lipstick down in here. Um, it's, it is a cute, cute little bag, but I just haven't used it very much. And for that reason alone, um, I am, I am probably going to sell this bag. But it's in the velvet. Um, I might not get ever get a velvet bag again. I just find that, I mean, even with very little wear, it gets little marks on it. I don't know, but it's a cute little bag, but I would have to say this is probably my least favorite. The next question, question number 10 is, what is your next handbag purchase? Um, I don't plan to make any big handbag purchases in the future. I have uh, to get myself back to work after this injury. I have some work goals that I need to make before I make any major purchases. But um, if I sell my little Chanel clutch that I just showed, um, I do. Um, I would possibly like to add a small um, Louis Vuitton Damier Ben bag, not Damier Ben, Damier Azure bag um, to use for summer. Um, I'm thinking possibly um, the possibly an Eva clutch if I can find one, uh, maybe the Pichette Felice, Felici, or um, possibly the Favorite. I just think um, for the same kind of price point, um, it would be kind of a trade, and I think I would use it a lot in the summer. If you guys have any of those bags, 
um, let me know what you think of them. Um, I haven't really looked at them yet, but I think it would be about the same price point and one that I would use a lot in the summer. Um, what is your dream bag? Honestly, guys, this is was one of my dream bags. I I never thought I would add one to my collection, and to get one at the price I did and in the color that I did, um, this was definitely a dream bag purchase. But if I had to think or pick another one, um, I don't really see myself ever ever going for Hermes. It just doesn't seem like me. I think the two bags that uh, would be dream bags for me would be the Chanel Boy and um, possibly a Chanel reissue in a larger size. Um, I would love black chevron with gold hardware. I think those are just gorgeous. Um, I prefer the reissues over the classic flaps. Just, that's just me, but both of those bags, I, I mean, I honestly can't imagine ever spending $5,000 on a bag, but if I ever get to that in my career, or um, those would be my dream bags. So anyway, guys, if you haven't done this tag and you want to, please do. Let me know if you do below because I enjoy watching these videos. And um, I will be back soon with a review on my, my newest bag. And I just hope you guys are having a fabulous day. And I will be back soon with another video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.